Hey there. So it's a bit of a nice day out today, so I thought a little change of scenery might do us some good. So I'm sitting out here in my backyard, and I was thinking about um, making a video of all of the Tick Tick Android widgets that are available. So I came on my phone and started looking, and if I come down here to the uh, Tick Tick widgets, look at all the options that are available on Android for Tick Tick widgets. I'm not sure how many there are, but there must be at least 20. And so uh, it was a little unrealistic to make a video on 20 different widgets. So what I thought I would do instead is just make a quick video on two of my favorite widgets, the widgets that I use. And so the first one is this one right here called Tick Tick Shortcut. So I'm going to long press on the Tick Tick Shortcut and just put it on my screen. And it allows you to configure the shortcut a little bit so you can say what happens when you press this icon and it can either be a new task it can be search or it can be view list and then you can choose the list that you want to view and you can choose whichever list any smart list or task list that you have uh, but the way i use it is the new task so i create a new task and i choose to make it in my inbox and that way when I click on the icon, it prompts me with a window where I can quickly create a task just by typing in the task name. I can select due dates, priorities, tags, and I can even select the list that I want to create this in. But most of the time I just leave that as inbox. And now if I go open up my Tick Tick app, I can see right in my inbox is the task that I created. So. I use this all the time, especially when I'm on the go, or maybe my wife is telling me uh, to remember to do something. I just open up my phone, click on my Tick Tick shortcut, type in the task name, and then it shows in my inbox. And I actually keep this right down here in my dock so that it's always there, it's always readily available. All right, so that's the first Tick Tick widget that I use all the time. The second Tick Tick widget, there's a Tick Tick widget called standard and this is the standard widget and you can customize this quite a bit also so you know which theme you want dark or light or you can pick a different theme you can also pick font size uh, any opacity you know if you want this to be invisible you can make it invisible or if you want it to be solid you can make it solid and then you can pick the list or tag that you want to filter on so maybe you want to select today and then you can also select the group by and sort by options, which we discussed uh, uh, the group by and sort by split up. That's a new feature that Tick Tick just put out. In my last video, I talked about the different options on the group by and sort by. And so I might just pick uh, group by priority and sort by priority. You can choose whether you want to hide the due date or show the due date, whether you want to show completed tasks or hide those, or show details or hide those. And so. And then I just hit the uh, check mark in the upper left corner. And then let me just resize this a little bit to get a little more, to make it a little bit bigger. And then right here I have all the tasks that are due today. So anytime I pick up my phone, number one, I can see all the tasks that are due today. And they're listed out by priority, so my highest priority tasks are up at the top. I even have my habit tracker on here, so if I am tracking a habit, in this case, uh, my habit is read 10 minutes, so I can just click on that. So, yep, I read 10 minutes today. Check that off my list. So then number two, what I can do is I can quickly add a task. I can say, here's a new task. Make it due today. Set my priority as high. Now it shows up at the top of my list. Here's a new task. So those are two of my favorite Tick Tick widgets. Those are two that I use actually almost every day. Um, every day I'm looking at you know what's due today by priority and every day I'm adding new tasks so but leave me a comment let me know which widgets you use and whether you're on Android or iPhone well that's all for this video thanks for watching have a good one